again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's talk. I want to pro tap. <laughs> Get off Facebook and Twitter now. Well, I can't say get off there, but I did. I got off Twitter. I'm uh, not Twitter. I, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Facebook. Been off for years, and finally, when Elon Musk uh, took over Twitter, I got back on. Not so much that I wanted to say things, but I wanted to follow my my, my favorite, you know, influencers and everything. But. Twitter, I mean, uh, Facebook, I mean, there's been a time or two when I thought I'd like to get back on. Uh, I've decided, I, I think when I was on Facebook, I think I lost more friends than I gained. It was during the presidential cycle and I was way too vocal politically and that, you know, how that makes friends and influences, influences people so fast. Night. Uh, there's no faster way to lose friends than to state your political views. I learned that and I've got off Facebook and it's lowered my stress level. And, but just in general, um, after a uh, general comments talk by uh, my church leader and I decided I jumped back on Twitter and I thought I'd just follow you know that, that's really all I do mostly but, but I would enjoy making a snarky comment for to people that ticked me off and just made ridiculous political st statements that I, and I would mock them and, and then we had this general conference and a talk about being a kinder, gentler people and uh, I, I uh, amended my ways, repaired my ways, changed my ways, and I, I will occasionally post things, but I, I will not be, make the snarky comments. I won't hesitate to give my opinion, but I just try to do it in a way that is not offensive. It's not contentious. Um, and it's lowered my stress level and you know, you're not gonna change anybody's mind on, on Twitter or Facebook, but I do like Twitter as a, as a news source. I love what Elon Musk is going doing there, except I sometimes wonder about his appointment of the CEO now. I, Here's some questionable things about her. Uh, it concerns me a bit, but I've, I have the faith in Elon that if it proves to be a problem, he'll fix it. But, and then Tucker is going back on that. I love Tucker. Tucker Carlson finally has a place where he can speak his mind, and I, I love that, so, well, we might have finally get some honesty in this country, and uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but what else? Yeah, so I will I will post on occasion to <laughs> uh, people in my, in a state in my mind, but I'll just try to do it. And I, kinder, gentler way. You know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll say what I think, but I don't have to be so snarky. So 
So that's my pro tip. If you stay on those platforms, avoid snarkiness. I wouldn't hesitate to say your opinion, but you don't have to be contentious about it. You can, you can disagree and not be disagreeable. Um, but if you feel the need at all, I mean, oh, it's, my life has been so much calmer. I mean, I can hardly bear to watch the headlines and the news these days. It's just so depressing. I just, the country is, so many things are screwed up. I just, I just have to shake my head. So I, some days, some weeks, I just have to turn away and say, I can't take anymore. But, uh, when I do uh, get ready to, to uh, take a look at what's going on, it's nice to know that Twitter is a place where people can speak their mind now. Oh, man. So thank you, Elon. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.